Friday. So we are uh, ready to go. It's uh, almost one o'clock. And uh, I hope you can hear me well. Okay. I will turn the camera. My name is Céline Ross from Genome, Montreal. I'm French Canadian and I have just a little bit of accent. So, bonjour à toutes les filles du Québec. Je tourne ma caméra. So I will turn my camera. And uh, today we will talk about uh, applique on a sewing machine. Okay. So I had my little setup just for you to, uh, just to remind you or to let you know, it depends what you know and what you don't know, that uh, applique uh, can be done with the stitch built in the machine and a regular F foot that's, that comes with uh, our Genome machine. But also we have um, optional, optional feet. I see Liz is there. Liz, do you hear me well? Am I okay? Loud? Just wait for Liz to make sure she answers me. Well, I guess somebody will tell me that there's no, uh, no sound, huh? Okay. So we have also, gentlemen, oh yes, fine. Okay. So we also have optional feed. Okay. So that's why I'm presenting you the, present, the presser foot workbook. Of course, you must know that uh, that uh, optional um, workbook. But when you when you open it, you have all the information about the feet that comes with your machine. But we have an addendum, okay? Oh, I should do it this way. Okay. So these are the optional accessories, uh, feet. Um, this is the, a supplement, you know, an addendum to the, um, to the workbook. And today, like I said, we're going to talk about applique. So there's also a few, um, and we'll do because uh, um, the advertising was um, a flag, a Canadian flag. So we're a little bit, with, we're one week in advance. So you'll have the time to, uh, to practice and to make your little flag um, if you want to do it. So I want to, if, you, if we... If we're making a flag, we want it nice both sides. So there's uh, some little tricks, you know, I'll show you mine. Maybe you have other tricks. So first of all, I suggest you when you want to, to do a project, first of all, you have to practice. Number one. So the first practice is read your lesson, understand what you're going to do. Then prepare your fabric. Okay, so I'll put this away. Then you have to prepare your fabric. Okay, I'll do this. So we said, I said, I'm sorry, I'm alone now. Huh? So I said, it's, this, this is supposed to be a flag, okay? So my applique, I don't want to work a lot, our machine, help us to work, uh, to do a proper job fast and easy. So this is the right side, but this is the wrong side of my, this is the wrong side of the flag. So, you know, either side is nice, okay? And this here is my practice. So I wanna show you, I will show you how to, uh, to get ready to prepare to, uh, to do, uh, those uh, this applique okay so i'm working today on the fabulous i will i will talk like michael um our fabulous m7 continental f s uh, m beyond m7 i'm sorry it's, it's it's easier it's really really easier in french you know hello tanya i see you okay so this is my practice so what do i do first okay you have to, your fabric has to be ready. So when I do applique, I always starch my fabric. So you see, it's not, it, when you'll wash away, it'll be soft, but at least to practice to, you know, I want to achieve right away a nice, nice job. Whoops, the machine is going to sleep, okay? So I starch my fabric. 
So this is the finished product, but I have to practice first, huh? So what I do, of course, I choose my thread, my color, and because I want it reversible, I will insert my top and bobbin, same color of thread, okay? And um, I run my fabric, I starch it, I thread my machine, and I start to play, okay? So I'll put this away for now. Of course, you need a template, or if you want, you can draw by hand, but I'm really not good at that, so I need a template, okay? So I print it. This is a design that um, it's built in. It was easier for me. It's built in design into our software uh, uh, or simple cut that comes with the uh, artistic edge or in the artistic digitizer software. So uh, I print this and then you cut around and then uh, you do the applique, okay? So one thing when you do sewing, okay, you always turn the light on, turn on the machine and turn the iron on. It all works together. Bonjour Céline from Tania. Hey, bonjour Tania. Okay, she'll be bilingual soon, her. Okay, so I want to zoom. So this is my practice. So the sides, whoops, the sides are different because I want to practice. There's two ways to do it, you know, without the optional foot and with the optional foot. So here I insert my, um, I attach, I didn't insert, I attach my regular F foot that comes with our general me machine, okay? And before you go all the way around those fancy curve and pointy and ta ta ta, you have to practice something simple. You know, don't start with a big, with a hard project right at the beginning. So one thing I would like to to let you maybe not to let you know, but to for you to remember, I don't want at the back. You know, I want a clean job at the back, huh? So I don't want to have a bunch of uh, thread, you know. So what I do is I thread my machine and then on the side you have the thread cutter, okay? From the back to the front you cut, from the front to the back you hold your thread. It's a thread holder, okay? So the side, the side cutter has uh, two functions. Okay, so then look at the nice tension that you have on your thread. Okay, then I stiff my fabric and I, I, I st starch, I'm sorry, starch uh, my fabric and I starch also this one, but I'll, I hold it with pins uh, in place. So I will practice. I'm doing this here because I want to show you it's easier to learn what is, when it is uh, simple, when it's too hard. The pro when the project is too hard, it's hard to, to achieve. And, you know, we get discouraged fast, huh? so we don't want to do this. So what I did first, I pin my, um, I'm sorry if I touched uh, the, the, my, um, uh, I need a few more hands, you know. Okay, so I'm, I was holding just my corner because it's a rectangle that I will uh, work with. And then I'm coming on the screen of my, M7. I hope nobody will be seasick. Okay. And the applique stitches are in the same family as the um, buttonholes. Okay. So it's the, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit like the vintage buttonhole, the stitch. Okay. So I will get into my um, applique stitches. Okay. So you see, you have two page because now it's something else. So for applique here on this machine, I have uh, two pages for of applique. It says applique one, whoops, applique one page of two, okay? So the function we have on the top, I want, I want this one here. I don't have a specific um, function for the applique. So I'll manage with what I have when I buy my machine, I can manage, but then I'll show you how you can make your work easier, okay? So let's say I'm going to choose the, any stitch is good, you know, any applique stitch is good, whatever the one you like, 
okay and it also depends on your fabric i want to make sure i will have no problem and also i can change the the width do you see i enlarge the width of my stitch i will enlarge at the maximum because i want you to see and i can change also the stitch length of my stitches okay so and on many of our machines so let's say i put it at four just it's a test okay and it depends how you want to work maybe you want to do this way your applique okay so you can invert or a mirror image your stitch okay then what i will do a hey, sewing holding everything at the same time so i have my f foot with a little opening here okay what i want i want i want uh, my screen okay i want this line here outside of the red fabric and this inside if this is inside your fabric will um, your fabric will have some uh, thread you know it won't be nice like you know this is what you're gonna end up so of course you have to uh, clean your samples oh and i have a little tool here it's um oh i should do it this way okay so you see you want a clean clean applique okay so tweezers uh, and not eyebrows tweezers huh? a real sewing tweezer with a good tip you know gentlemen should make them they would be perfect okay and then i will start to sew but first i want to position i want to make sure that my needle will be outside of the red fabric okay and my guideline is that little slit this the little opening here of course i don't go fast huh? so let's go okay oh why are you doing this you in front of all the visitors just maybe maybe the machine told you hello okay so i'm following and there's no no way there's no reason to go fast okay this is one of the good feature of of, the, of all genome machine of course you never sew on pins huh you know when uh, we sell a sewing machine saying something like hey this machine is so good it sews over the the pins and needles well this is so so it does but something will break now you see i stop i don't know how when i want to do, i don't know where i stop when i go very slow i look out look how the stitch is making okay okay forward backward forward then on the other side okay i'll stop but my foot doesn't lift up so i have an option on many of our sewing machine we have the auto pivot so that will allow your machine to stop and lift the foot when you're at the end stop uh, whoa, 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 whoa. i said yeah 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 okay you see my needle my needle down and then uh my, my needle stay down and then my foot my needle stay down and then i flip my fabric okay and my foot pressure goes up well you know what it's not that easy to uh, translate at the same time okay now you're, you're good so we'll go fast now you know what i mean whoops i went a little bit okay and i'll stop right at the end okay i'll slow down and i'll i'll use i will use my lock stitch button because it will finish the sequence of of the uh, of the stitch okay i'll use my thread cutter just to show you and you know what we want to do a clean job so uh you know cut your thread already as soon as you uh as you finish to uh 
to work. So you see, this is my fault because I press I press uh, start twice, and if you have a little bit of stitches, you can clip them. <laughs> okay, so it's good. I can go with, but there's an easier way. So I'm coming back on the screen of my M7 and on many other of our machine. Okay, so I'll press my T-shirt. Here you can see some application regarding what's built in in your machine. Okay, and notice that I have the uh, M7. So M7 has a QR uh, logo, which means that you can uh, connect your device, you know, your... Um, uh, I don't know how to say. I say device. I would say I would say uh, telephone, iPhone, uh, or Android, iPad, or another tablet. Okay, and the machine will tell you. You you will be connected, and the machine will tell you about the stitch you're asking. So here I can do. Whoops! This is sewing. This is quilting. Oh, this is optional feet. So you see, if I'm in regular, I don't see appliques here. There's no applique. Turn the page. There's no applique. I hope there's not because I will lie. Huh? No, there's no applique. So here, what is it? Oh, I have the applique function. So what does it do? It fixes everything for me. It, it will prepare all my work. So you see, I have my auto pivot and I have a corner function, which I didn't have in the previous... Uh, in the previous uh, window. And also the machine tells me, hey, uh, Celine, change your foot, huh? AP foot, which is an optional foot from Janome. Um, hold on, I'm going to do it this way. I'm telling you, we need a few hands, okay? So this is the optional applique foot, which is shorter, okay? With more mark or lines, to guide you and for ease and to be easier to turn and to uh, maneuver. I don't know if I say the right, the right word. So this one is nine millimeter because my machine is a nine millimeter, but there's also seven millimeter applique foot. So when you order to your dealer, when you order a foot, you have to tell them which machine you have. So you'll see on the red here, you'll see the difference between the two feet. Okay. Uh, Liz, uh, Liz is taking care of writing everything because, uh, uh, you know what, me, I'm doing a lot, huh? I'm a camera and translating and ta-ta-ta, so Liz is taking care of everything and I guess Tanya also. So, you see the difference between the two feet, okay? Also, the attach. The attach is, um, as usual, a snap-on, but this one is a double snap-on, if I can say this, okay? So, it's solid you know it attached like a button uh the button foot the button t foot that um, that we also have okay so the, it's shorter not wider because it's a nine millimeter with a slit and marks on top so that really guides you so when you buy and ask uh, uh, optional accessories of course you need the uh, the book you know the presser foot uh, book but Behind, whoop, the price, uh, behind the uh, blister pack, you have the instruction here, how to use it, okay? But since you have the R, uh, RQ number, well, yeah, I want to show it to you, hold on. Because you have the RQ number, well, your iPad or uh, your, um, all your, your tablet and everything, they will tell you how to work with it so when i attach it sorry if i hit the ipad so how so first i have to attach at the back and then use my button on the top to really snap it uh inside the um at, at the foot holder and then again in my thread holder okay now you'll see, you'll see, I want to, I will make sure that I'm out of the fabric. 
there's a few ways to lift the, the foot. Huh? So I can use the button, I can use the back, the level, and I can use my wheel. A, a wheel from a sewing machine, you always turn the wheels of a sewing machine and a general messenger towards you, okay? And of course, I don't go fast, and I will change stitch, okay? I want to show this to you. Sorry if I go back and... Uh, so what I did before was this... Maybe if I do this... Okay, it, uh, when I chose it was a straight stitch with, uh, uh, with a stitch that uh, sews in inside the applique. But I have raw edge applique. So I will use this one just to show you something else. So you see there's a zigzag and also a stitch that will attach the applique. And I will really enlarge because I'm showing to you, okay? So you'll see the potential of the machine. Now I really exaggerate, you know, I'm choosing nine millimeter, but you see the difference, huh? Okay, then I'm coming back to sew. Okay, I hope you're zoom enough. And I press start. This time I want to sew, oh, I'll go a bit faster. I want to sew just inside, uh, just at the bottom again, at the end of the red fabric. I'll stop because, whoops, sorry, this is in a way for the fabric to slide easily. Okay, so you see, because of, I have the auto pivot, uh, the auto pivot uh, function, um, my foot lift by itself. Okay. So I'll let it go. So I made a few mistakes, but uh, it's okay. I'll show them to you. Okay. I'm almost at the end. Okay. So I'll be careful. Okay. I'm coming back here. I will tell my machine next time I stop, I want to do a corner. So the machine will finish the sequence of the, um, of the stitch and restart. Whoops. Okay. And then, hmm, I didn't stop at the right place. Down, I can, okay, I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. Put down, lift, stitch by stitch. This is my mistake. La. It's easier than this. Bon. Now, oh, oh. okay, then turn and go. Okay. So the, this stitch and this one are different. So I really finished the zigzag on the side. So my fabric will not ravel or uh, I don't know the right word, you know, will not, uh, you won't have, you won't see little uh, thread. So I'm be careful. I watch and then my lock stitch and the machine will lock my stitch, cut my thread. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, some thread from Oops, some thread that was not, um, that didn't catch, okay? But it's so little, okay? There's so little uh, thread, so little piece that I can cut and clean and never leave my thread. So look, look at the nice, whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't look at the screen. No, I shouldn't do it this way, maybe that way. So do you see the difference between the two type of stitches? There's different type of stitches and you, you have the choice and huh? there's so many. So this one will, it's a zigzag with a, a catching thread. Okay. Then we said we want to do, this is the right side. I'm sorry. This is the wrong side of the fabric. Clean, clean job. So we said we want to show you how to do a both sides applique like my real flag here. So this is the right side of the fabric. This is the wrong side of the fabric, okay? I'll flip. Okay. 
I'll do this just to hold. Okay. So what do I have to do after this? Okay. After I went all the way around. Okay. I clean when I see a little uh, piece of thread, I clean it, I cut it. And then to finish like this as a nice job, what do I have to do? I already start just to show you. So towards the back, you need the Genome scissors. Huh? Some machine, our embroidery machine could come with scissors. So all the way around, you remove that white part. You be careful, don't clip the thread. And then your applique will be the same color on both sides. Look at this, look at the result. Okay, how easy is this? Did you see? I'm sorry. Did you see? So I have to go all the way around slowly. Okay. Another good tool that you should have when you do applique this way is um, it depends where you buy. You know, there's free stuff, free check, uh, free. You know, you need a sellant. A sellant is not um, a glue. Huh? So then when you finish, to cut all the way around then you make sure inside the, the fabric here yeah okay you make sure that all the way you put your free stop or first your selling and um, it'll never free again it this will uh, keep all your threads together so the, the uh, it, it rains you wash it whatever and it won't show it won't be stiff and it'll be perfect on both sides. I, I prefer to do it on the wrong side of the fabric, just in case, you know, I go over and I drop something here. I'd rather to do it uh, uh, on the um, on the applique, okay? So again, foot holder, no, a thread holder, and then you have your applique that uh, you, you see on both sides. So what time is it now? Oh, I, I'm okay. I have not more than 30 minutes. So Genome getting special mini duck. Oh, yes. Also, we have the uh, a special scissors like an applique scissors. So we do have this also to cut your applique. Well, I'm, I mean, just before I said that uh, you need a Genome scissors. So you see, uh, Genome has a, has a lot to... Uh, to uh, for you a lot of many tools for you to uh, do your uh, to do a perfect job okay so i guess i hope you learn uh i have to turn my camera here it's a uh, 35 degree hot and humid and um montreal but it's a nice day and uh it's a time it's so hot outside that it's time to so uh, to stay inside and sew and embroid and uh, play with your machine. So if you bake a flag, you know, you finish all the way around the way you want it. You know, maybe you want to surge it and maybe you want to double straight stitch it uh, the way you want. And then you'll be ready for the um, Canada Day uh, next, uh, next, um, next week. So we don't have those scissors yet. Oh, but it's coming, okay? The scissors that Liz is uh, is saying, you know. I don't think I have questions, but if I have questions, I guess uh, Liz answer them. Liz or somebody from uh, Genome answer them, okay? So I hope you learned something. And, uh, hey, merci, Céline, even in French. Okay, so um, it was my pleasure. And I hope, um, don't forget tomorrow, tomorrow here in Quebec is... Um, Saint Jean Baptiste, you know, um, it's a province, a French Canadian province uh, holiday status holiday. But Michael will be, um, hey, Michael is there, fabulous as always. You see, I think this guy is born with the fabulous word in his mouth. Thank you, Michael. So tomorrow, Michael is, uh, should I say, live. On the air, where is he? He's gonna be on uh, Genome uh, HQ. Genome HQ. I think it, that's me. Uh, you know what? To remember all those English words, it has to be written down. But watch Michael tomorrow. First, he's good looking, and on top of that, he's knowledgeable. So <laughs> both of them. So I'm saying goodbye to everybody, and uh, I'll see you uh, soon. Bye bye. <laughs>